Hi right, guys, welcome back to Van Sun Garage. There's a pit bike's uh, front wheel, and it's going out tomorrow to get fixed. Hopefully. In our last video, we uh, took off that front tire of the pit bike and um, showed some stuff around here in the last couple videos that needed done, so we went out and did it. And so we went ahead and taped up these windows without shooting the video, so kind of like uh, after the fact, but here it is. We took a dog food bag uh, a 50 pound bag of dog food bag and cut it open and draped it over there and duct taped the uh, the bag to it. So. Who drinks Bud Light? Huh. That's not even my, uh, not even my brand. <laughs> I don't drink beer anymore. But yeah, so we got that on there. That should hold. Keep the water out of it. We were checking. It didn't look like it got any water. This car got flooded too, so... And then out here, it was out there along the creek, and the creek came up and flooded this car. So, you know, the carpet was soaked, and I don't know how bad the, you know, the electronics is going to be on this car. Probably pretty bad. <laughs> but, hey, we got another aluminum can to our aluminum pile. And then the van, we did the same thing, but we didn't take a garbage bag. We just drooped, uh, drooped over what was... Uh, what was there and retaped it so we retaped that van window that it got blown out from the same tree that just fell on the house yeah this tree's got a lot of damage around here hit them hit the fastback hit it on over messed the hood up on it fender and there's that white van we just taped that uh, uh what do you want to call that insulated uh you know roof uh, material that they got from super sam we just taped that back up and there's eleanor where you can see the damage of the fender and the hood where that silly tree right there i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to start stealing from pole barn i saw him take a uh, a four-wheel drive and he hooked it to a stump and he pulled the stump out so i'm going to move these cars out and i'm going to take uh my tow truck, and I'm going to hook it to that tree, and I'm going to pull that down. How do you like that pole bar? I'm going to steal from you. <laughs> I was complaining on the last video that every time I shoot a video anymore, it seems like I'm being, uh, you know, uh, doubled. You know, I know how Scott Speed Shop feels now with that. Uh, Scott's not Speed Shop. That guy cloned his channel, and of course, it's not as. <laughs> It's not as bad as that. What's been done to him is a travesty. It should be a crime. The guy should be in jail for stealing somebody's YouTube video. That's my opinion, you know. And let me get a hold of him and uh, I'll fix him. <laughs> but pole barn, every time I turn around, you know, I start playing with my roadrunner. He comes up with a wrecked roadrunner. <laughs> Go figure, right? And then I've been reviving my 69 Mustang Mach 1. He comes up with a 60. I'm going back into my Mr. Obvious routine. He goes, comes up with a 69 coupe that I think he got from his dad. It needs a transmission, and it ain't half the car I got. He's out there beating it and trashing it. and You know, you need to get a baby C6 uh, pole barn. If you want an automatic transmission that's going to hold up, find you a baby C6. He'll probably do that in his next video. Oh, he got a baby C6, though. <laughs> he copies everything I do, I swear. He, he got some Magna 500s. I just put Magna 500s on the front of my mouth. Wham! He's got Magna 500. Go figure, right? You know, <laughs> God, dude, you know, really, you know, get a life, you know? I mean, come on, you know, are you just going to spend your whole time on YouTube copying a smaller channel, uh, a channel that's up and coming, you know, Beamer and Sun Garage, we're up and coming. We got friends like, you know, Scott Speed Shop. We got friends, Jamie Phillips, Actions Auto Parts, you know? You're not our friend. I mean, I hate to say it like that. You're pretty rude to us, you know. I give them a suggestion, you know. Go to eBay, buy tires, and you save you some money, and I get back, well, you know, you go buy some tires. I could do that if I need that size. I would. And I sure in the hell wouldn't pay the $600 you paid for it. 
You know, you, you got more money that you're like buy script garage now or something you think you are. You know, you got more money just throw it around, you know. Oh, I'll go buy all new sheet metal for my truck and then just put it in the corner and let it rust. You know, yeah, you, you don't do that, Bullmar. You buy the metal, you know, you buy half of what you bought maybe or you buy it all, then you put it all in. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Some people, you know, uh, you know, it's copying after me. That's just, it's, it, I guess I should feel flattered, you know. But, you know, at the same time, I'm aggravated that, you know, he's further in his channel and he's further in himself. And, you know, off of my, you know, my fruit of my loins. Get off my loins. Get off my fruit. <laughs> Get off my balls there, pole barn. Get your own, you know, content. Come up with your own ideas, you know. Go back to your shot up, uh, your Lemon Le Mans GTO, you know, shotgun car, you know. <laughs> At least you had something that was original, you know, that you came up with. If somebody shot it up and you put it together, I'll give you that. But everything else, you've been copying after, you know, off of me and uh, God knows who else, you know. Oh, well, that's enough of Mr. Obvious. It's only obvious that he's doing it. And it grinds my gear. So there you go, guys. We passed up a couple windows. We got the tire going to, uh, off the pit bike, going to uh tire shop tomorrow. And the sun's going down, and we're going in the house. So we'll see you in the next Beamer and Sun Garage. You guys, check out my friend's Actions Auto Parts. Jamie Phillips, check out his junk shirt. He's a cool guy out of Stanford, Kentucky. Jamie doesn't do that. He don't copy that. I don't see him. Well, today, we're doing fuel pumps. Today, we're doing Magnum 500. No, man. He blazes his own trail, man. You know? But he's got integrity. And Scott's Beat Shop. Same thing with him. He doesn't do what I do. He does his own thing. Get a clue. I go right back to Pole Barn Garage. Get a clue. Quit copying after me. <laughs> Pitiful. And that's it, guys. So check out the two channels. Subscribe to those guys. And if you if you can, go to Scott's Not Speed Shop and report that guy. He's uh he's cloned my friend's uh, videos. He's making a mockery of my friend, making fun of my friend. It's not funny to me. Uh, so go to his channel. You know, don't subscribe to him. <laughs> Scott's not not N O T not speed shop. Report him, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, I got a lot of cars. It's gonna be hard for you to duplicate everything I got. Pole barn. It'll cost you a shit pile of money. To get everything I got, bye-bye.